Hello everyone and welcome to Wasting Academy's YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by Defense Research and Development Organization on 11th of March. So today only, uh, two notifications have been released. One notification, it is for uh, project scientists on contractual basis for DRDO, Hyderabad. Right, so we can look out for the advertisement uh, on the official website as well. Um, yeah, so recruitment for the project scientist on contractual basis for DRDO Hyderabad. Closing date will be 1st of April 2025, uh, around 4 o'clock in the evening. So you have to keep this in mind. Uh, they have applied for, you know, they have uh, provided vacancies for multiple departments. In some, the vacancies are less. In some, it is a bit more. Um, we can see for project scientist F, consolidated pay per month will be 2 lakh. 20,717 rupees. Uh, so it's a quite good um, pay package which is being given. Computer science and engineering students, number of vacancies only one vacancy. Qualification, essential qualification has been mentioned. First class uh, bachelor's degree in engineering and technology from a recognized university. Minimum 10 years of work experience is required in the design and development of application software with scripting language like Python um, and other uh, languages as well C and C++. Desirable master's degree students are desirable. Minimum three years of experience in project management is required. Design and development of application software for airborne and soft, uh, airborne and space systems. Experience in handling networking and infrastructure interfacing uh, encryptors. Right. After that, uh, scientist D position number of vacancies are ten, which are released. For electronics and communication engineering students, the pay scale is 1,24,612 rupees per month. Now, what is the essential qualification? Uh, first class degree, bachelor's degree in engineering and technology. After that, minimum of five years of experience is required in design, development and testing of electronics and RF systems and subsystems. Experience in handling test measurement and equipment like signals, generators, spectrum analyzers and network analyzers. After that, what is desirable? Master's degree. If you have master's degree in a relevant discipline, it will be considered as desirable. Experience in small satellite subsystems design, integration testing, experience in project management, and good knowledge and experience in the development of signal processing uh, algorithms using MATLAB and uh, Simulink. Uh, after that, scientist C position, number of vacancies are seven over here. Uh, electronics communication engineering students, 1,8073 rupees, uh, scientist C position, this is per month. Now, first class degree in engineering and technology, minimum three years of work experience is required in this domain, uh, in the design and development and testing of electronics and RF systems and subsystems. After that, desirable it is uh, experience in handling test and measurement equipment like signal generators, spectrum analyzers, network analyzers, design development assembly, integration, testing, digital, RF and communication systems and proficiency in MATLAB and Simulink uh, programming. After that, scientist B position, uh, monthly pay is 90,789 rupees. Uh, after that, two vacancies are there in this. Electronics and communication once again. Uh, first class degree in engineering and technology. And desirable is that you should have a valid gate score in this. So again, gate score, if you have a valid gate score, then you can apply for these two vacancies, right? After that, uh, electronics and communication engineering means if you have acceptable, so see, uh, there is a lot of, there are a lot of cases that students may not be having electronics and communication specialization in their degrees, but they must be having a different name in their engineering degree. So what other names can be allowed in the essential qualification? They have mentioned it clearly over here. Electronics and instrumentation, electrical and electronics, electrical students are also applicable over here. Electrical with communication engineering, right? All the electronics and communication, electronics and computer engineering, electronics and control, electronics and instrumentation, electronics and telematics. So in different colleges, the name of the degree is somewhat different. The syllabus is the same, but it is applicable, right? So they have made sure that all the students in the relevant domains are applicable any other relevant discipline with qualifying degree which mentions electronics in their name 
the word electronics is mentioned that's fine it is clearly mentioned and electrical students so you are applicable and uh, same for computer science engineering they have clearly mentioned computer and communication computer networking computer science and automation information technology computer science and engineering computer science and system engineering computer science engineering and infotech so whatever different names are there they all are applicable they have clearly mentioned any other relevant discipline with qualifying degree which mentions computer science as the main discipline will be applicable so this is one of the most renowned uh, qualifications which i have seen till date um, in a very detailed with respect to the name of the degree it's quite good actually uh, there is a lot of confusion amongst the students in respect of this online submission of the application um, you know last date is 1st of april 2025 and date for determining the eligibility of the candidates in every respect shall be prescribed to the closing date so whatever your age limit and everything is there will be corresponding to this date right uh, academic requirements and everything also we have clearly mentioned but what is the weightage um, uh, to the higher qualification uh, they have also mentioned the conditions also your dissertation your degrees your thesis all are essential in this right all are essential what is the age limit for scientist f position maximum age limit is 55 years for scientist d position maximum is 45 years scientist c position 40 years scientist b position not exceeding 35 years right and relaxation will be there um, as per the government rules up to 10 years for pwd category and divyang category right so disabled candidates will be applicable for 10 years of relaxation upper age limit 5 years for um, civilian central government employees on regular basis upper age limit for ex servicemen will be also relaxable as per the government norms right uh, maximum age shall not exceed 56 year including any age relaxation mentioned above so ultimate maximum also they have mentioned right work experience uh, requirements are also mentioned over here um, whatever it is we have seen that previously right what is desirable and everything right now uh, screening and short listing how it will be there um, 100 rupee is there for the application fee and uh, for other categories right general obc and ews only 100 rupees other categories it is uh, waived off after that screening and short listing um, administrative screening will be carried out by the verification of identity age essential and higher qualification length of suitable experience at the initial stage and for all administratively eligible applica uh, applications technical screening may not be maybe at two levels if required right so technical screening can be at two levels technically screened applications biodata based technical screening at level 1 will be shortlisted for further selection process predefined ratio right um, where is the predefined ratio it must be over here somewhere right technical screening at level 2 that is your preliminary online interview will be of short duration 10 to 15 minutes the number of candidates to be shortlisted for the preliminary um preliminary um online interview now so this ratio has been mentioned for one post 24 candidates will be shortlisted for 2 to 3 48 for 4 to 6 position 72 for 7 to 9 positions 96 for 10 post and above 100 candidates or above can be considered right so they have clearly mentioned and after that for final personal interview for one position 12 will be shortlisted for 2 to 3 24 4 to 6 36 7 to 9 48 and 10 and above 50 candidates or above five times of the number of post will be considered right so they have clearly mentioned how will be the shortlisting process how many number of candidates in respect of the ratio also they have clearly mentioned so it's a quite detailed notification very uh, easy language they have set for the uh, detailed notification right now personal interview will be given um, 70% weightage and unreserved vacancies for the unreserved vacancies and 60% for reserved vacancies they have mentioned so what are the documents also they have clearly mentioned right so whatever the document date of birth proof recent photograph signature essential qualifications signed cca declaration all experience certificates experience certificate has been issued by the competent authority 
right it should be there um the fee which you have paid right application fee so it's a quite good application for drdu for a contractual basis which is in hyderabad good opportunity if you are eligible do apply for this position right so thank you for watching and stay updated with the regular updates on jobs and notifications which are being released by various authorities uh, all over india do subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching